Ladies and gentlemen, Mullet Mike Hardcastle here with us on Full Screen Networks, bringing you Creepy Gaming. Welcome to the prologue to Red Dead Redemption 2. Real quick, special shout out to all of my wonderful patrons. I want to thank you sincerely for your contributions. Now, without any further ado, turn the lights down and the volume up as we journey into some creepy gaming. <laughs> the Red Dead series has established itself way before the release of RDR2, not to be confused with R2D2. The franchise started with the cult classic Red Dead Revolver, where you play as the legendary Red Hollow, hence the game's name. The follow-up, Red Dead Redemption, had you playing as the memorable John Marston, fighting for his family, his freedom, for his redemption. Again, hence the name. Red Dead Redemption 2 was probably named that to capitalize off the success of the last game, even though it's actually a prequel. You can't blame Rockstar Games for that though. The last game was a huge success and understandably so. Out of all my years of producing creepy gaming, I think I've had the most fun with any episode featuring a Rockstar game. In the past, we've covered GTA 4, San Andreas, GTA 5, and of course, Red Dead Redemption. Open world sandbox games are the best to hide creepy easter eggs in, especially considering the maps just keep growing larger and larger along with the technology. If you haven't seen them already, then go check them out. I've covered the Haunted Town of Tumbleweed, the I Know You Stranger Mission, the Donkey Lady Glitch, amongst other great creepy easter eggs. One thing I didn't get to talk about though was Undead Nightmare. And since we're in the prologue, I should at least briefly mention it now. Red Dead Redemption was so successful that it spawned its own subseries, Undead Nightmare, and it got its own following in its own right. Undead Nightmare was set in an alternate reality where John Marston fought off zombies and liberated towns as he raced to find a cure for his wife and son. Apparently, this mysterious green mass caused this strange outbreak. Red Dead Redemption was already creepy enough, but... Well, just look! The dark mood lighting, the eerie night sky, and the unexpected twists and turns all added to create an awesomely creepy combo. Now, mind you, this was not just some DLC, but rather an entire expansion pack. It was really its own game in and of itself, even getting its own standalone hard copy. It's yet to be seen if Red Dead 2 will follow suit. It's still a little too early to tell, but I've learned not to put anything past Rockstar. I would like to note, as of the writing of this prologue, RDR 2 hasn't even been out a month yet. Red Dead Online is yet to officially launch so I know there is plenty to come with this nearly instant classic. So, while I gather all of this data, I think that's going to do it for the prologue right now. The official Red Dead Redemption 2 episode should be out soon, and it will feature not just my favorites, but every disturbing easter egg, creepy side mission, and scary stranger quest that I could find. And as of right now, it's a lot. It's going to be a long episode, folks. That's why I wanted to make this quick prologue to give some background for people unfamiliar with the series and take this opportunity to speak about Undead Nightmare, even if it was just briefly. Join me next time, and we're going to start right off the bat with creepy secrets hidden within the weird world of Red Dead. I want to thank you all so much for watching the prologue. I hope you enjoy the episode proper when it drops soon. That's going to do it for me today, folks. Until then, to be continued. Peace!